Hey everybody, welcome to Algo Prep Master. And in this video, we're going to talk about the stack data structure and we're going to actually implement it using JavaScript. So this comes out of this amazing repository, uh, GitHub repository, that's all about JavaScript data structures and algorithms. I'm going to leave a link for this repository in the description so you guys can check it out. It's a very, very good way to prep for uh, interviews and coding interviews so uh, you can check it out now in this video we're going to talk about the stack data structure and it's a very popular data structure um, it's in, in computer science and uh, it's something that you have to know before technical interviews uh, now we use stack for many many things uh, real life implementation like a real life example of a stack would be like a stack of books where uh, you have uh, basically less in first out remember that okay less in first out basically you, you put books one on top of each other and you know you put it, it, it gets in the top and goes out from the top uh, same thing in programming that's how elements are being pushed and popped from the stack data structure so uh, let me show you guys how to implement it we want to have a stack uh, a class of stack and we want to have a constructor and the way I'm going to implement it is using an array So the, the first thing that we want to do is push and this is how elements are going to get into the stack and pop, that's how we remove elements from the stack. And last thing is is size, the size of the stack. All right. Now we're gonna use our stack. So let's start by adding items. So we want to make our stack cool. We don't want to do something boring. So we're going to use Japanese race cars. So we're going to push a skyline and say RX-7. Now let's log it to the console see what we get we have a stack that has two items skyline and rx7 and as you can see the skyline was the first element to get into the stack after it there was the rx7 so let's add some more cars two more let's add a supra and uh, hmm, which car should I use? 350Z. 350Z. 350Zs are awesome. Okay. Log it to the console. And again, items are being pushed to the top. Now, let's try to uh, pop something. So, let's re try to remove one item. And see what we get now as you can see the 350z is out of the stack and then we can try stack.size whoops we got the parentheses and we'll give us three because in here we have four elements but we popped an element 
so we have three elements left in the stack so yeah guys that's how you implement the stack data structure in javascript it's pretty easy to remember and it's used a lot uh, with many other data structures it's very important to remember for interviews so uh, i hope you learned something here and if you like it please leave a thumbs up and subscribe until the next one guys peace out <laughs>